Bolo brother Billy. Hello, brother Anthony. Look, I got a new T-shirt. I don't know if you can see. Let me let me show it to you here. H Solutions Technologies. Mm -hmm. It's a company here in Alice. Ah. Uh -huh. You know, my my buddy Colin. He owns it. You know, the CEO. I don't think he calls himself CEO. You know, but that's some fancy names people who could put themselves and stuff like that. But you know, I used to wear a lot of different t-shirts, different colors. This is a mustard color. I particularly like mustard. Not bad. It goes pretty well, things that got on. Like with all kinds of, like one time I had a t-shirt, sort of like a brown t-shirt. It said, uh, this animal is, and it had a big letters, dangerous. Mm -hmm. I was a younger man, when I was looking good. You know, had my locks and everything. I ain't with Actually, you know, the human being is a dangerous animal when I think about it. Because even say mustard. Now let's go back, let's trace a little war history. A little war history for you. World War I, I'm not going way back, I'm just going last century. World War I, there was a thing called mustard gas. You used that to beat up on people, you know. You know, you, you know, like chemical warfare, I guess they call it. It wasn't the first chemical warfare. First chemical warfare I know about was well, more than that was back when they they put the smallpox with the American Indian blankets. But that's you know, there's something else that's that's eradicating a people germ genocide as they say. But back to World War One. World War One, you know, started out doing red and horses and stuff like that. I learned this from watching TV, as I told you before. You know, I watched the Kaiser Report called Kaiser Report with Stacey Herbert and Max Kaiser religiously. They had two episodes on there talking about this war thing. World War One, this certain technology started, then it ends up, you know, with airplanes basically. World War Two starts with airplanes, ends up with <laughs> atom bombs, you know. Mm -hmm. Now little little do people know there was a thing called a Cold War. Now with the Cold War the technology was a little bit different. That that brought us the space program. And the space program brought a lot of stuff too. But they were all sort of beneficial stuff. But now we're right back to wars again. We're basically in World War III. I know you don't realize it, most people don't realize it, but this is World War III right now. Now World War III, this is what we mean by World War III. Now see, especially Americans wouldn't know it because we've been going through things gradually. It's like that frog in the beaker, you know, and, the, and, and it's boiling the water, you know, you put in the water and it's all right, then the water gets hot and all of a sudden the frog is dead. Because <laughs> he didn't know the water was getting hot. That's the way Americans are. But other places in the world, you know, you go from all right and all of a sudden you just don't like the whole thing. You, you know that something's going on, you know? See, Americans are a little slow, but everybody else, they, they know what's going on. And see, and there's the problem. The problem is that a lot of people in the world, they know what's going on, and they know it's a war against them. It's back in the olden days when you had professional armies making war on countries and citizenry, you know, because they would beat up on the other army, but then they would ransack the city, you know, rape, pillage, and all the rest of that stuff. And that's what's happening now. You know, you've got this, I don't want to call them mercenaries, but you've you got armies that are going around pillaging, beating up on people. And people feel defenseless. But, like I said, watching Kaiser Report, there is a way out. We can, as regular people, we can fight. We can, we can partake in World War III that's upon us right now. And we have to do economically a thing called a blockchain. The blockchain mathematics came from university, from a bunch of PhDs and mathematicians. They got the answer. The blockchain is personified by what we call Bitcoin these days. But you know, Bitcoin is just a protocol on top of the blockchain. And you know, we can do it here in South Africa with things I call cattle coin. We can create our own little Bitcoin on top of the Bitcoin called cattle coin. And then that with that economic thing, you go, that way you, you cut out all the middlemen and all those other people that's making money so they can make that money to fund wars on people. You see? It, it all comes together. But I'm not going to explain it right now. I think uh, I think people can find out for themselves. A little research. That's what academia is about. A little research. Do a little research. Because you're not supposed to believe me. Because I'm just an arts director and artist. You know, I'm an audio dramatist. So you're not supposed to believe in audio dramas. He tell you anything. You know, so you got to do your own research. Find out. Hey, how can we change it? Economics. Let's change the economics. Because they got the military power. 
You know, they got the chemicals, you know, give us the bad food and all this. They got all that stuff in place. Something we better be doing. We better figure it out. That's just me just waxing off as a, an opinion. A, a, a dispatch, as a matter of fact. A dispatch from the arts director emeritus. That would be me, T, from the Pattersons, taking a train to Tibet. Letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm. What? <clears throat> What's it good for? Absolutely.